From Channel 3, this is an Eyewitness News update. Good morning. It's Tuesday, September 22nd. I'm Nicole Nalepa. Students at Colchester Elementary School will not be returning to the classroom for at least two weeks. Someone tested positive for the coronavirus at their school, and now the school is dealing with a staffing shortage. Classes are canceled today so teachers can prepare for remote learning. Schools in Southington, Torrington, and Hartford have also had to make some adjustments to their schedules because of positive COVID cases. Speaking of Southington, we've learned that the high school will remain closed for a second day this week after someone in the school tested positive. The superintendent says students will be learning remotely today, and that could continue in days ahead. It all depends on the outcome of a contact tracing situation. Right now, the district is trying to find out if anyone had close contact with the person who tested to positive and the Connecticut State Colleges and University system is certainly feeling the pinch from the pandemic. CSCU is now on a hiring freeze and this move affects 17 schools. We're told the hiring freeze will continue until at least October 15th when the Board of Regents reviews its budgets. A woman's arrest that was caught on camera is now going viral. Hartford police pulled her over yesterday because her car turned up as stolen. The tense situation exploded when the woman tried to leave in the car. Officers took her into custody, and it appears an officer's knee may have been on the woman's head or neck during the arrest. Police say a knee was not used in force, and an investigation is now underway. No one was hurt. All right, let's take you out and show you some cloud coverage, uh, the results of Teddy. Hurricane Teddy out to sea, a couple of hundred miles away from Connecticut, but it is trying to throw some clouds back into the forecast. So southeast and northeast Connecticut throughout the day today, you might see a little bit of cloud coverage. We're also monitoring beta in the Gulf of Mexico, bringing very heavy rain to portions of Texas and Louisiana. Keep a good thought for those folks, uh, but neither of these storms will have too much of an impact on us, that's for sure. Temperatures today under partly to mostly sunny skies, climate to the upper 60s to low 70s. Sun was up at 639, sun sets at 647, and fall arrives at 931. Woohoo! Uh, we are taking a look at Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. A dry forecast with temperatures flirting close to 80 degrees. It's going to feel like summer now that fall has arrived. Have a great day, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. We appreciate it. Eyewitness News is everywhere. Get the latest in depth headlines anytime on the Channel 3 Streaming News app.